Uh, I am uh, starting a little bit late today. Sorry about that. I uh, had got hung up with a little something, uh, little something at home, but everything is fine. Took care of it all, and we can get started with one of my very favorite little indie games, Prison Architect. Uh, <laughs> this game is weird. It is kind of part city builder, part business management, part prevention of chaos, uh, I suppose. Let, let's start a new prison, just jump right in. We will do uh, male prisoners. You can do female prisoners. Um, it does create some other challenges, but let's just do male prisoners for now. We will use the generic warden for ours. There's other ones, like there's this guy here who kind of reduces the chance that you'll get really violent prisoners. There's this person here who... Uh, kind of does something similar, <clears throat> pardon me, and also makes it a little easier for your guards to suppress uh, prisoners when they get uh, rowdy. We'll just stick with the regular guy. I'm just going to go with the medium map. Fog of War, if you're familiar with like real-time strategy games, this means that like if you don't have units there looking into an area you can't see, it's more realistic, but honestly, I think then you kind of miss out on some of the fun stuff. So, uh, let's uh, remove that. We'll move Generate Forests. We'll remove Failure Conditions, because chances are I would meet them. Um, we will uh, maybe not have gangs, because that's nasty. So, we'll just do... Uh, we will do Events, and we will do Staff Needs. And I think that's pretty good. All right, so... This is where we will begin building our prison. Uh, right now, you can see there's a, uh, a truck with my construction people coming in. Before we do anything, this has a really nice little planning tool that I'm going to use to kind of plan out how we're going to build this. So we'll go 8 meters in that direction. Actually, let's do this and this. And this will be like our front door right here. And then we'll go... Uh, we don't want to go too deep. We don't really need to go too deep. Let's say like... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, ten. Ten should be enough. I, I, I promise there was something important there that I was counting about. Uh, Alright, so we'll go back this way. And then we'll have um, another door here that will actually go back into the prison. And then we'll have doors here and here which will go into the utility and the administrative wing of the building. Um, this here is going to be where we have uh, the utilities. And actually, I don't want all of this. I think I need it to go a little bit deeper than that. Uh, your prison does have to... Oh, heaven's sake. does have to generate its own power and water. So I'll have a power plant and uh, a water pumping station. Plus, I'm going to need room to... Uh, room to... Uh, put stuff. Storage room. I knew the word would come to me if I just sat there and talked to myself for a while. All right. Uh, I think... 15 deep should be enough. Let's go a few more just in case. This is just going to be for the administrative wing where the warden will have his office and some of the other folks will have their offices. Uh, all right, so let's get this built. The first thing you do before you can do really anything is you have to have it build the foundations of it. This is where you'll see a lot of the, a lot of the assets in this and a lot of the building really does resemble games like RimWorld, but uh, this is one huge difference. And that you do have to put down a foundation first. So, we'll order that. And then I'm going to have to tell my guys to get started. And it says requires entrance. So, we'll put a door here. This is just a regular door that anybody could open. Alright, so those guys will get to work with that. And we'll, we'll speed them up a bit. While we're doing that, I'm actually going to slow them down just a little bit. One thing that we can do is we can take on uh, grants, which will kind of give us... They're almost like quests. Uh, they give us kind of an idea of things we can do 
they give us a little cash injection right away and then a cash injection upon completion. We'll start with Administration Center, which gives us 5,000 up front, 5,000 when we finish. Got to have offices, got to have a warden, got to have an accountant. That's all very doable. And then we can do one more. Uh, and the Basic Detention Center one is pretty easy. So we'll go ahead and grab that one. All right. turned off the planning stuff here and pretty soon they will go ahead and they'll be done and this will just turn into a, a regular area and then they'll go ahead and install lights and then we will get started excuse me kind of separating things and we'll get utilities going and then we can put the offices up come on boyos let's get this going yes slackers There we go. All right, so let's build the walls. I like brick walls. So, brick wall here, brick wall here. The doors that I wanna use are gonna be staff doors, which means that only employees uh, will have access to this area. All right, now then, Let's start thinking about utilities. We have a power station, and we are gonna put that in like right away because we really do need power. And we also have a capacitor, which helps to increase the output of it. So we'll put that in there too. And then we want a water pump also. So we're gonna install that. And then we're gonna have to run power from the power station to the water pump unit. They're almost done with that water pump unit. All right, so we'll run cable up to here so that they can do that. And then we're also gonna run cable down through most of the rest of this building which is gonna take a little while for them to put that in. But now you can see that where I have power, the lights are on. All right, this is gonna be like reception in here. Uh, so let's get started with setting up some offices. So the first thing we need to do is declare areas as something, uh, you know, for what their purpose is going to be. For example, I'm gonna make an office. Offices have to be at least four by four. And see, there was a method to my madness here. I actually have this set up and I'm gonna have this little open, uh, open floor plan here. I'm not gonna wall people in. All right, and each office has to have a desk, a chair, and a filing cabinet. You can put other things in if you want to, but I'm not going to because uh, right now, we are kind of short on cash. These are the desks. Um, it really doesn't matter where you put them in here as long as they're there, but I like things to look nice. So we'll have one there. We'll have one here. And I think two offices for, oops, that's not what I want, I want chairs. We'll make sure the chair is facing the right way. And then we'll do that over here as well. Ooh. Hey, Chrissy. Uh, all right, filing cabinets. We'll put one here, we'll put one here. And those will be officially offices shortly. I'm gonna go up here now, and uh, as far as declaring rooms, I'm gonna make this storage. And I don't have to have anything special for my storage, but that way I have it. Okay, now I can hire people. So the first thing I can hire is a warden. Joe the warden. All right, you can only have one, so it tells me that I've hired the max that I can hire. Now, the warden can do, oops, it's not there, can do uh, some research. 
And all of these unlock different things in the uh, prison. Uh, the first one that we really need to, at least for this uh, particular grant, is we need to unlock finance. And then we'll hire an accountant. It's going to take five hours and 55 minutes of game time, not real time. All right, so we'll close that up. And the warden, you can see, is hard at work researching finance, researching finance. Okay, that's fine. Let's make uh, this the reception area. And it's gigantic for us. It's really way too big. I I overbuilt that. That's, that's just gigantic. Okay. Anyway, um, in fact, I'm, I'm so disappointed at it that we're going to make a little change. And that is one thing that is really nice about this is that it is easy to do things like take down walls and, and all that sort of thing. Uh, where is that? Uh, bulldoze. Here we are. We'll get rid of that. And then we will tell them to dismantle this. So they'll put that in storage. All right, now I want this wall. Let's put it up here a little ways. Let's make a little more room because they really don't need to have quite that much space. Here, let's go here. Now there's a little extra room there. That's kind of nice. All right, we have this staff door in storage. So now they can put that there. And I can, I think, Go ahead and put, uh, there we go, concrete flooring here. Oh, no, I can't. I wonder if I'm going to have to foundation that again. That would be a gigantic pain in the rear. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Perfect. All right, so... Uh, let's get rid of that thing. I don't want there anymore either. All right, so you can see they're taking stuff they haven't used and sticking it up in storage, which is exactly what I wanted. And You can see this place is already starting to become a mess a little bit, but soon we will be able to uh, we'll be able to go ahead and hire janitors and such. Uh, let's go ahead and declare this. Uh, I think it's the reception area. I think is what it's called. Reception. Here we go. Still, this is a gigantic reception. All right, reception area needs an office desk and a chair and a table. So, go in here. Here is the table. And we will put uh, an office desk right here. So, like, people will see it right when they're coming in. Uh, right there is good. And then we'll put this chair right there. All right. So, as soon as that stuff gets loaded in, this will officially be a reception. So, this is doing okay so far. I'm pretty pleased at this. All right. Now, the door that I want here... And let's pause a minute and do a little bit of planning. All right, so I'm going to put a door, uh, let's see. Right about here is the middle, I think. We'll put it right there. And then we will have... Um, actually, we'll make this a double door. Whoops, I wanted walls there. All right. We'll go down about this far. And like we said, we're going to make this a, a double door. And then we'll also put a like a double door like here. And we will make this. This doesn't need to be real big. But we'll make this our holding cell. And then uh, right across the way... We will build, this will need to be a larger area because it is going to have, oh, son of a bee sting. He didn't want to draw two lines like that. And it's so easy to do. This is going to be the uh, 
Canteen 